And we thank you for staying with us here at Five today. I'm Glenda Lewis. Since the beginning of the pandemic, one question has perplexed the scientific community. Why do some people get infected with COVID-19 and others don't? Well, here with more on this for Friday, Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy. Um, Dr. Nandy, thank you for being with us. Has the research revealed any answers or is this still a mystery? Good afternoon, Glenda. You know, studies have really uncovered some reasonable uh, things and why some people do not get infected after they've been exposed to the coronavirus. I had a friend the other day I talked to her. She was infected. Her entire family did not get the, the virus at all. So two interesting ones that I'd like to talk about reasons that are that, that could this could happen. The first one, you know, was published last month, Glenda, by the Imperial College in London. The study looked at families, right, who lived together in the same household, and researchers found that family members, right, who had higher levels of T cells from previous cold infections, that they were less likely to get infected with the virus. So why might this happen? Well, one reason, Glenda, is that T cells produced by your immune system and one of their jobs is to prevent you from getting the same cold again. So while the SARS-CoV-2, right, this COVID-19 virus is different than the, COVID, uh, than the common cold, these T cells might be recognizing it and pro providing cross protection. The other research I'd like to mention analyzes how genetics, they play a role. A group of researchers, again, from the Imperial College looked at genes called human leukocyte antigen, or HLA for short. And they found out that these genes could determine, determine how a person responds to the coronavirus, most likely because the HLA controls a person's immune response. Interestingly, the researchers found that people who had a specific gene that was called HLA DRB11302, that's the name for it, were a lot more likely to develop an infection with symptoms. So really, really fascinating stuff. So what about the role of vaccines, Doc? Are they still playing the, a role or? 100%. Okay. You know, our vaccines are definitely helping people avoid infection. Now, Omicron, right, has certainly impacted our vaccines. But when you're fully vaccinated and boosted, we know this, many people have a high level of protection and many avoid getting infected. Not to mention, we know that the vaccines reduce not only severe infections, but also hospitalizations and deaths as well. I would encourage people to try to catch I would, I would not, rather, would not encourage people to try to catch a cold in hopes of avoiding an Omicron infection. This is still research. You still want to protect yourself. And again, even though this research shed some light on why people, you know, get sick or some don't get sick, it's not a guaranteed way to protect yourself. This is information we're trying to gather. So maybe we can get some, some something that really protects all of us better. So still to me, getting vaccines, getting vaccinated, getting protected and following the precautions the best way. But as this research comes out, we'll give it to you right away. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too. And don't forget to watch an all new episode of the Dr. Nandy show. This week, Dr. Nandy's talking about technology and how it affects our lives. You can watch this Saturday, 1 p.m. right here on 7.